Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be Taurus, uh, Sun, Moon and Rising. Weekly tower reading for May 13th to May 20, uh, 19th, excuse me, uh, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tower cards and we can go straight away in, uh, into the spread. All right, so uh, the first card, which is marking the topic for Taurus this week, that is going to be the Five of Swords, followed by the second card, which is uh, regarding to the challenges which Taurus are to face throughout the week. <clears throat> that is to be the Seven of Pentacles. Third card is a positive aspect of the week for Taurus or what is going to help Taurus throughout the week. This is going to be the uh, Page of Swords. And then the last one that we do have, it is the... Um, Temperance card that is the pure guidance the tarot is offering to you, Taurus. So, once again, we do have the Five of Swords as the first card, followed by the uh, Seven of Pentacles as the second one, which is the challenges. Then it is the third card here, the Page of Swords, that is to be the uh, what helps you throughout the week. And then the last card that we do have that is going to be the Temperance. So, uh, Taurus is, well, that is not going to be a very impactful week, the way I see it here. Uh, actually, what uh, with these four cards, what the week always going, uh, what is, what the week is going to be all about, um, it's, it is uh, where you basically stop concerning yourself with what everybody else thinks about you and about your, um, about your undertakings and endeavors. As a matter of fact, with these cards, you are to follow a very um, shiny example of a person that you are associating yourself with, which, which does, does adopt that particular standpoint. It's just that person doesn't care of what everybody else thinks and they do things the way they, they, they like to do, despite what everyone, everybody else thinks of them. So that leads us to the first card here, which is the grand topic. And that is to be the five of uh, the five of swords. So uh, a, a very peculiar standpoint. First of all, the five of swords here points is that throughout this week uh, you are to start becoming more and more aware of uh, your surreptitious intentions in regards to people which you are associating yourself with. In other words, Taurus says you are to start becoming more and more more and more aware who your friends are and who aren't. Uh, in regards to your social circle, colleagues, and, and so on and so forth. Additionally to that, the Five of Pentacles here points that throughout the week you will become more aware of where your limits lies, how, how big are your capabilities. Uh, that that kind of concerns to regards where, um, how, how can I express it really? Um, well, basically, there are things that works for some and there are things that doesn't work for some as well and so this week we, we you are to define what works for you and how actually works for you therefore you are to differentiate yourself from those who does not believe that your actions or your endeavors are the right actions and endeavors for yourself the accompanied card here that is to be the um the emperor 
So the formation is a uh, active friends that we do have with these couple of cards and uh, disregarding, you know, uh, what people expect from you, uh, you know, what your co-workers expect from you, what your friends expect from you and so on and so forth. Recognizing, you know, where your limits lies and your capabilities, how vast your capabilities are, uh, you are to establish a uh, bigger control upon your things, upon your marriage, for example, or upon your uh, relationship, for example, or upon your career, for example, uh, presenting yourself much more reliable to those who truly matters, which opinion truly matters, therefore exerting more structure into your life, you are to make um, everyday ups and downs much more bearable to be faced and to be tackled and additionally to that with these cards it seems that throughout this week you will start paying attention more and more to your personal needs rather than to uh, paying more attention how you can please others the uh, challenge here uh, that you will have to face throughout the week that is the seven of pentacles so the seven of pentacles it does point to hesitation and more like um, well, hoping that the right, um, sitting into one place, hoping that the right measures or the, the appropriate actions are going to become obvious to you, uh, which speaks to that you may try and opt to avoid, you know, those, um, this, this drastic detachment from some people that you are uh, associating yourself with, which kind of is unavoidable. So you, what, you, what you have to overcome throughout the week as a challenge here, it is the... Um, self-imposed uh, belief that, you know, things are going to get easier as time passes in regards to tackling with those people which are giving you a rough time. Additionally to that, this card points that there is no, that there there isn't going to be uh, any surprising fateful event around the corner which you can rely on to improve your circumstances. Everything is to happen according to your personal performance or if you make it to happen. If you don't do anything, nothing really is going to happen, either positive or negative for throughout the week for you. The accompanied card here, that is going to be the uh, King of Wands. So the formation here, it is actually a passive neutrals. And uh, this card actually gives us the key how you can overcome the Seven of Pentacles, which is the challenge. And it does point that you need to have more positive attitude toward the end goal and toward the manifestation of your goals in general. Yeah, you may not have as much people supporting you along the way, you know, as you detach yourself from them. But in the same time, if it is not you who are to transform your ideas into powerful drive and actions, no one else will so you will have to obtain that determination that now is the time one to make us uh, some moves uh, forward toward manifesting their endeavors and uh, the third card that we do have for you Taurus is this is the positivity out of the week of or what is going to help you throughout the week that is going to be the page of swords so page of swords here plays a, a, a role of a, a person right a, a very um, agile um, or swift in thinking person. Well, that is someone with original thinking, someone who does not oblige to the common law or to the common code of conduct. So they have a little bit of a different understanding how the world works or how the world works for them. So it's not, if it is this, this um, week, it's not about the grand scheme of things and how the grand scheme of things works uh, works for you or rather like well I, I didn't express that so it is not about how the grand scheme works but it is how about the grand scheme uh, benefits you and how it works for you so it does look like that you are to start thinking in a little bit of a different way or you have thought in a little bit of a different way until this very moment it is just you were uh, a bit hesitant to, uh, to, um, to take an actions in regards to um, those thoughts of yours. Additionally to that, the Page of Swords here, it does represent a um, <clears throat> new source of help that this person is going to give you, mostly, most likely through an, an example, that they're going to make that example that they don't care about what everybody else thinks of them and what everybody else thinks of their performance, but all that matters is that if they, um, all that matters is that they feel 
fulfilled by doing something they believe it's right and that example is gonna help you a a long run and it's gonna be as um, manifesting itself as a help that you need to receive so basically this person is gonna breed big self-confidence uh, within you so the next card that we do have or rather like the catalyst here that is to be the empress <clears throat> and uh, the formation here actually it is a uh, active enemies so with the empress to the page of swords uh, it does look like that uh, this example additionally is going to force you to do some bold, bold actions actions that you would usually you know without having this example of that person you would not have either the courage or the uh, how do you say it when you think something is in, um, is uh, inefficient all right so you may thought until this very moment that whatever you want to do is inefficient ineffective and so on and so forth but now seeing that this person does whatever they whatever pleases them you do realize that actually you know those kind of actions of yours are actions that needs to be um that needs to be executed for a reason being is that um how can I display it? For a reason being that everything else is just pleasing others. Because the Empress always care, cares more about how others feel, you know, and how, um, <clears throat> how, they are, how they are to accept the world and how they are to accept they, uh, the, the, the Empress. But this time around, as in an active, as in an active enemy, to, enemy to the Page of Swords, it seems that you have to disregard that ambition and this, uh, this strive of yours to be uh, pleasant in everybody else's eyes, but you should be pleasant only in your own personal eyes. Additionally to that, with these couple of card sources, it is likely that you may kind of like adopt some um, very surprising and um, unorthodox solutions to some of your issues that currently persist throughout the week. Don't be afraid, guys, to act upon those um, those insight of resolution of your problems. <clears throat> and the last one that is guidance. We do have um, the temperance, <laughs> and the temperance here, at least to me, it just speaks only one thing. You know, opinion is like a butt. All right, everybody has it. It's just you can't fight against that everybody has it everybody has it in a different way all right so no matter how much you try to please everybody and to fit into their opinion you're never going to be able to therefore it will be best guys if you try to fit with your own personal opinion the temperance here it does represent exactly that that everybody has their way of thinking everybody uh <clears throat> you know have their own personal vision into the world which never matches a hundred percent with someone else's so no matter how much you try you know your understanding of the world your understanding of your relationship of your career is never going to match a hundred percent with those that you are associating yourself with therefore um <clears throat> you will have to kind of try to constrain yourself of trying to follow someone else's ideas but rather follow your own personal ideas in regards to your career or regards to your relationship additionally to that the um <clears throat> temperance here points that you should approach the week with a lot of um uh with a big sense of uh, of solidarity and as well compassion but only if you face that compassion and solidarity from others uh, the accompanied card that is to be the nine of wands. The formation here it is a uh, active supporters, and uh, you have to arm yourself with a lot of patience, really, uh, and you need to gather your strength. So basically, this week you will have to gather up all the resources you need, because with this guidance, with these guidance cards, it does look like that a, a big endeavor it is uh, lurking behind the corner. It could um, it could manifest itself in a couple of weeks. It could manifest itself in a month. But right now, this week, by realizing your capabilities, you know how big they are, how, what works truly for you, and uh, restrain yourself from trying to fit with someone else's opinion. You will start making preparations, or you will start preparing yourself for this big endeavor that it is uh <clears throat> that it is to manifest for you in regards to your lifeline uh, or life path excuse me so that being said sources this was your weekly tarot reading uh for may 13th to may 19th 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh we are going to see each other next time until then
Bye.